So, you don't feel like it'll be easier just to go back to your hometown, go back home? Because right now, and I hope you guys don't think, wow, I'm finished this business out there because Snoop don't care. <laughs> like, you're struggling here in Houston when you can be in, in Appleton having a ball, you know. You got family, you know the city, you got friends who you grew up with. You know, you can just be living comfortably in Appleton. Why, why stay here in Houston and struggle? I can't go because you love the city this much. <laughs> <laughs> What it is, what it is, ZWC Cruise, your boys, Eddie Chunk Chunk, and we are back again with another banger for you guys today. We're kind of banging this, it's a muck bang! Today I have Ellie Carson in the building. And today we're doing Dave's Hot Chicken. I'm thinking you was going to come in. And, <laughs> I, was, I and forgot what we had. <laughs> Dave's Hot Chicken, ZCC family. And uh, today your boy Snoop got uh, the mild sliders, right? Yeah. I got the Reaper. You know I got to go the heaviest. This is the one that you got to sign a waiver for. And we also got some fries. And then I got some mac and cheese in the back. And we got some Dave's drink. It's my first time having Dave's. You never had it? No, no, no. Oh, okay. Let's see if you like it or not. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go ahead and get a prayer in the thumbnail. Father God, I want to thank you for this food that we're about to receive in our body. And I ask that you do please bless this food. And please bless Snoop. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Let's get a thumbnail. All right, let's dive straight in. Oh, good. These Never had days. Uh uh. You had um. You had a uh, what's called raisin though, right? Yeah, I had canes. I think um, only one time with me, you, and James. Mm. And we uh yeah, cause I had that cup full of sauce. They yeah. Do, yeah yeah. I've had them one time. Well, let's see if you. I actually like Dave sauce. With these fries. I'm gonna give him an 8.5 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> you be watching them? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Keep Lee. Mm -hmm. I like, uh, I do like these fries. I like, crinkle cuts mm -hmm. are better because you can eat them, um, they almost better, um, like a little colder or room temperature. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, like McDonald's, mm -hmm. they gotta be piping. Mm -hmm. Crinkle cuts and waffle fries, not 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 so much. This uh tender actually real spicy there. I dare you take a bite on it. Oh heck no. Almost one, one bite. bite. <laughs> one bite? Uh-uh. Alright, take a big bite of that. Let me know what you think of that. That's tough. You said that's what? That's good. That sauce is good. Mm hmm I like that sauce. Yeah. I thought that was cheese at first in the pictures. Mm -mm. This might be better than um, Popeye's. Chicken sauce? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think so because I like a lot of spice. Well, that's not spicy, but it has a lot of flavor. I did go with light spice. So I wish I wouldn't, but... You wish it would more spicier? Less. Uh, but um, I was assuming light spice. I, I was assuming that no spice was going to be no flavor, too. Yeah, this is good. So, if you think that's hot, you're not ready for the Carolina Reaper. Mm, no. <laughs> yeah. I'm not ready for B-Love hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I just like to enjoy my food. I think you're going to enjoy it with the sauces. That hot? I love it. It brings excitement. <laughs> I need excitement in my life. I, um, good excitement. Two, there's two levels. I've had, I don't, I don't, I've had some. This is good. Some excitement, you know. That ain't so exciting. <laughs> like what? You want some? You want some good? Uh, some good juju. Some good uh, like uh, experience. Mm -hmm. So what's going on with you, man? What's going on in Stoops' life? <laughs> As you guys all, you know, no, no, no. <laughs> as you guys saying, if you watch his uh, Lee Carson channel, Snoop has uh, healed me temporarily. What's going on, man? <laughs> <sighs> man, Houston been chewing me up. It's, it ain't spit me out yet, but it's been chewing <laughs> ever, since, that's ever since I stepped foot in Houston. Nah, I got some. Where's that bag at? Some honey? I think you brought it over there. That's what I thought I did. It's not even here no more. 
Oh, it's over here. You got so, honey? Yeah, let me get one honey. Yeah, yeah. I think that'll uh, cool it down. But yeah, uh, I feel like Houston just been chewing me out. Every little thing, any every plan I make, something happens, goes awry. Every little. Are you enjoying your time in Houston? Yeah, I am. I am actually enjoying my time, and I do like this city like very much. Um, I always tell people, out of all the cities I've been to, I mean, Houston and Chicago. Chicago is my favorite city. Mm -hmm. I've only ever stayed like downtown though. Mm -hmm. um, and if it didn't have the cold, I think that'd be a place I'd love to live. But Houston has got everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, from the people to the food to the only thing I don't like is the traffic. But yeah. But other than that, this is like make all these plans and then things just like don't work out. Or do you believe you're having bad luck in Houston? Or do you think you do you think you just have bad luck in general? I think it's just one of those years because I've had years where everything is off, mm -hmm. and I can tell from the beginning of this year that it was going to be one of those years. What made you? What gave you that feeling that oh, this is going to be a hectic year? Um, one. What? When was that? Was that? Uh, no, that was last year. Um. Uh, mm -hmm. Early in Wisconsin, I think something happened. <laughs> I can't speak on that, but yeah. Um, and I had somebody super mad at me. I, I, I had somebody super mad at me because some of my drunk stuff I did, and uh, so that started it. And I, I felt super bad and guilty because you know I don't want to be like that type of person or whatever. You know, I hear some people say they have a we're gonna have a bad day. I feel I'm out of or a bad week, but. A bad year? I that, sound, that sounds nuts. A bad year? Mm -hmm. I've had bad years on multiple occasions. But the way I look at it, like, I try. But you, but you felt like, oh, I'm going to have a bad year this year. Yeah. That's heck to even claim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you just, I mean, you just, it's to a point where sometimes things happen and I just, I just have to laugh. Mm -hmm. I just have to laugh. Like, um, my car my car broke down at the end of January too, mm -hmm. and I'm glad because uh, I was gonna drive it to Dallas. Now imagine if I would have been stranded out in Dallas okay. the day I got back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would have to. And what? Well, that was January, and then they. Called. That was January. That was January. When we all went. I'm pretty sure that was marathon. January. Yes, I'm pretty sure that was January. No, uh, time going too fast. Yeah. That, was January. <laughs> That's, January. that sounds crazy. January? Pretty sure January 28th was the day. A couple days after my birthday. That sounds nuts. Yeah. Hmm. Um, and you know, for my birthday, I was in... Uh-uh. Because I was in uh, Vegas for my birthday. I just don't remember right after Vegas. I went to... Yeah. Because hmm. cause I think we went out... Hold on. I can... I can... Right after Vegas, we went to Dallas? Yep, January 28th. Mm -hmm. Might have been January 27th, because I posted on Instagram on January 28th. Um, of the race or whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, then my car breaks down. Mm -hmm. Then our friend let me use his car. I dropped him off at the airport. <laughs> I didn't make it out of the airport before his car broke down. <laughs> and now I feel bad, like, bro, your car... And now it looks like it's my fault, my problem. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. If you in possession of my whip and it breaks down, blame it on you. Thank you. I got it. then, so I had to pay to get his car towed, two hundred dollars. Now I'm carless again. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's just then Levante leaving. Yeah. And um, what do you mean by old that? old landlord um, problems with her and. It's just like... And I thought you and the landlord was buddy-buddy. You and your landlord. Me too. No, but she had um, shot her place, but she was having family issues. And, it's, you know, obviously her family's going to come first. Mm -hmm. So um, she got some family stand with her. Mm -hmm. And then Levante decided to do what he do. He got caught up in some girls. 
<laughs> he goes, he's so bad. <laughs> he got caught up in the whoop de whoop. So, you don't feel like it'll be easier just to go back to your hometown, go back home? Because right now, and I hope you guys don't think, wow, I'm going this business out there because Snoop don't care. <laughs> like, you're struggling here in Houston when you can be in, in Appleton having a ball, you know. You got family, you know the city, you got friends who you grew up with. You know, you can just be living comfortably in Appleton. Why, why stay here in Houston and struggle? I can't go because you love the city this much. <laughs> <laughs> One thing is... um I'm not a quitter, and I know, like I know coming down here was a risk in itself. You know, giving up everything. You know, like how easy it is to one make money because I've always you know made money, and here it's harder to. Cause I don't know anybody like that, so it's harder to get your get your groove and like actually making like legit money. Besides YouTube, mm -hmm. and I mean even that I've been slacking on that too. I probably posted like eight videos in four months I'm, or two months. I'm tripping, mm -hmm. but. You know, I know it's going to be a risk, and at the end of the day, I think, you know, it's going to be a reward to getting out of your small town. Because even when I went back for uh, um, Christmas, mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, this is why I left. Cause, and this might sound crazy coming from me, but people drink too much. I'm like, <laughs> I drink a lot, but I'm like, I can't keep up. I can't keep up with this. When you're there, I thought you were going to be posted, though. I didn't think you were going to come back to Houston. Mm -mm. Because, like I said, too, just like the prediction with uh, Levante, I'm like, why would Levante want to stay, come back? Because he went back to Milwaukee to go visit. Like, why come back to a struggle? Which is hectic when you have it good in Milwaukee. Or, you know. Yeah. And it's, it's easy. <clears throat> it's easy to get comfortable and complacent, but I'm like, if I spent my whole twenties basically dormant and with with girlfriends and living that work nine to five life, and it's like now you have an opportunity to come and just change that, make something else shake, leave your city. And I think one of the most important things you can do is leave your hometown. Mm -hmm. Even though you know I did go to, I spent a year in Cleveland and I spent a year in um, Toledo just for school or whatever. But that's Cleveland's my where I was born, and Toledo's mm -hmm. is college. So like actually getting up and moving to a new city. I think everybody needs to do that or try that, get a different sense. Mm -hmm. yeah, plus it makes you a little bit more independent because you don't got nobody to depend on if you go into a random city. And um, I think uh, it'll be a good uh, chapter in my book. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying I'm writing a book, but you know, everybody, every success story, they was like, I had to sleep in my car. Mm -hmm. I had to, um, I had to use all my McDonald's points just for something to eat. <laughs> <laughs> I had to wait till Free Fry Friday at McDonald's just to eat. Yeah, that's part of a you know that's part of a story, and you know I'm just in the in the in the rough part right now. Mm. I ain't tripping, but at least I don't have like kids or anything. Yeah, because they'll be hectic with kids. Do you think having kids though would uh motivate you to go crazy though? Know? Maybe kids would have been a good thing. Yeah, mm, yeah, they definitely will motivate you, but I know it, you you go the easiest route, and the easiest route is not taking chances. The easiest route is basically. Let me say, if you had a girlfriend, like fear is in your last situation, do you think you'd be grinding harder? Do you think your, your ex kept you on a grind mode? I wasn't with her long enough for it. YouTube, but um, but I'm saying though, when you were with her, that was like a very mm. stable point of your life, remember? Yeah, but before her, basically my whole adult life, I've been two or three jobs, you mm -hmm. know, stable places, um, to live and work, but so mm -hmm. you know, I, that came from just me on my own, you know, yeah. not being not wanting to be a slob. Yeah. So this feels real, real different, yeah. Hmm. This feels real different. Yeah, it feels. Give me some ketchup. All right. Yeah, this feels real different, especially because I'm like, man, I can't go out like this. This feel. <laughs> this feels a little crazy. This feels. Oh. Is that ketchup? Mm -hmm. I mean, 
out my honestly I'll see that. All right, perfect. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Let's build a little crazy. Mm -hmm. Uh but you know, we'll get through this. We yeah, all facts. Always there's me, my brother, two of my older brothers. I said there's always if there's two brothers I know I'm not gonna worry about, it's y'all two. And they feel the same about me. So mm -hmm. sometimes I do get a little more in my head and get a little too uh unmotivated, but Yeah. So how do you stay positive? Jack Daniels. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nah. Um, he needs help. <laughs> he needs some milk. Yeah. Nah, um one uh, working out. Yeah. Not a lot. And um I guess if something goes wrong, just look in a different direction, just trying your best, trying to see what other people have done. Just kinda go that way. Yeah, like I said, I ain't gonna lie, you really uh you shocked me, man. The fact that you haven't um went back yet. It was real shocking, like this is just I don't know why you just wanna go uh, well, I'm not saying go back home, I'm not saying like leave, I say that. But I know you have it easier mm -hmm. when you have a ball going back home. Yeah. And you're around your kind. Now, I'm not talking about family. Well, uh, <laughs> what do you mean? You're around all your drinking partners. Oh, right. <laughs> well, they be drinking too much. <laughs> Early in the morning. Come on. But no, that's because mainly I kick it with like a lot of bartenders and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's like part of their job, but all day and night. And I can't drink like I used to because I be falling asleep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Going to sleep in the car in the winter. You get old. I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> oh, how old are you? 29. Uh, yeah, when I was in my 20s. <laughs> when I was in my 20s, I used to think the same way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man, on his 30th birthday, he was knocked out. Was that? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. He called it quits and uh, probably like 11 at night. <laughs> oh, I did. Cause uh, that comedy show wasn't like two, three in the morning, so it had to be like ten, uh, ten o'clock, eleven o'clock. Fell asleep. And I drank like two Red Bulls. I ordered like two Red Bulls mm -hmm. too. Yeah, that was a missed opportunity because I would have got to meet Corey Holcomb. Mm -hmm. Oh, my present just went down the drain. <laughs> I just performed my first comedy show too in Houston. When? Recently? Yeah, last Saturday. Last Saturday where? Last Friday. Oh, where at? I couldn't even tell you the place. Mm. How'd that go? You do it, were you with Levante or no? No, I was by myself. Just fine, let me go knock this out. I killed it. <laughs> well, it was easy to say that when I ain't no proof. <laughs> <laughs> I recorded it. Um, you did? Yeah. So you gonna post it? Uh, no. Why not? <laughs> Are you not proud of your body of work? I, I don't want... I need to record it for myself so I can keep it sharp. Mm. And so I can find out how to make it better. And if you post it, and if somebody comes to see you, they're going to know the jokes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, let me go. Let me go. Let me how long do, uh, do comedians hold on to jokes? Usually until they um, get it in a special. Mm -hmm. And then once they do a special, release it, then they'll start over with new material. So, but you can't do that if uh, you keep performing at the same uh, same spot, right? Yeah, well, when we were traveling around in Milwaukee to all the comedy spots and doing like three, four shows a night, mm -hmm. everybody is fo all the comedians are following each other, going to the different open mics. Mm -hmm. And... They're just all using the same stuff. Mm -hmm. So I always, always try to well, just going, try new material. Going to a different open mic is different because it's a different crowd. Mm -hmm. I think people who are at the same spot probably are just constantly trying new jokes mm -hmm. to to get a special. Or they're probably telling the same the same jokes. I wonder what you got to do to get your breakout moment. Just someone like good guy being in a crowd like the old school, how it used to be in the old school when rappers and singers used to get fine. You got to have like a producer like Tyrese on the bus. Oh and yeah, I'm seeing. Well, that happens, cause um, there's a first 
the comedy show I went to when I met Taylor. We went to a comedy show. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the guys performing did a show. And he was just on Joe Rogan like a few weeks ago. And he was small. He had like 3,000 uh, followers. Because I went and followed him because I thought he was super funny. And next thing you know, like six months later, um, a big com comedian saw him. You think they're still doing it that way though? Like, you think producer or... Whatever people are out there scouting like that. Going, I don't think they're scouting. I think they probably just like it comedy and they see somebody. They're like, holy moly. This I feel better. like the only way that uh, people are getting recognized as seeing is like the Ha Ha Davis shot or the Desi Banks shot. Like you got to do shorts on Be, YouTube and yeah, stuff. Yeah. Get viral. And then I, see, about I see a lot of people posting their comedic clips on not doing actually like skits and stuff. Mm-hmm. Is that skit right? I don't know. I think that might be over. I don't know. I just think uh, getting out the mud and just going to keep doing comedy shows is like a hard grind. I feel like you just have a better chance of posting shorts on. Yeah. Under that. So, like, you go to a show and then post your what your funniest stuff you think on there. Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, I think, yeah. I think that would. I think that would definitely. Yeah, yeah, I believe that word, but I believe, yeah, it's the internet that's going to blow you. Yeah, or someone oh, 100%. In the crowd says, I'm a part of Kevin Hart Productions, <laughs> and we wanted we want to bring you on here. Yeah, hey, Ellie Carson, that joke you made. Uh, so you think skits are going to get played out? Yeah, I haven't seen them. Uh, I think it's because I still just watch. Well, I don't follow a lot of people. I watch Desi and uh, Ha Ha. They still be doing them skits. Mm -hmm. But um, they already solidified, too. Yeah, you see any new people? Who's new on the market? No, nah, no really, no comedy new people on the market. Well, that's internet famous. There's a Mexican dude. I can't think of his name, but he oh, does, I see that short guy. He, yeah, he does stand up. Yeah, and that's probably what he was doing, posting his clips, and mm -hmm. then that's how he got. Because that's how I see him as his clips. Mm -hmm. Never watched one full special. You know, shorts really uh, changed the game because there's so many people I watched I never could say like. I watched so many Joe Rogan uh, clips, but I never watched one podcast of his. I watched so many um, clips of just so many other YouTubers and things of that sort, but I never went to their channel and actually watched one of their videos. Oh, I love the Joe Rogan show. Mm. It's all oh, and and then Austin going crazy. Austin about to be the new comedy hub. Yeah, how much Austin? It's it's not uh, like their their city is nice, but it's not as. Uh, feel like it's, I don't want to say country, it's just a lot of wilderness out there. I mean, it's just not a lot of city life out there. Like, if you in the city, you in the city. You think, so you think there'd be, like, uh, a lot of, like, coyotes and stuff in the uh, city? Really, I don't know. I just remember there was a lot of trees, even more than Houston, H-Town. There's just a video I saw on Facebook of a big gator cr crossing the street in uh, Mo City. Nah, that's not <laughs> I believe it. Because uh, we definitely had them around our neighborhood. Remember that snake pass? Remember crossing the street? Were you in the car with me? Snake crossed the street. A big one? Uh-huh. Like how big? Like, like an big, anaconda? Like, like, <laughs> like as long as our arm, probably. No cap. You probably, I probably was in the car with my last uh, person I was talking to, but it was like as long as your arm. <laughs> and, that, and that thing was slithering. No cap. Well, I said, that looked crazy slithering. <laughs> oh, my goodness. When was the last time? Um, have you ever been through a struggle in your adult life? Yeah, of course. Well, because, um, yeah, 100%. I think moving to Menasha, uh, Menasha was like a fresh start for me. You know? Like, I was like, things are just looking, they're just going hectic and stuff. I'm like, let me just try fresh. Yeah. And I moved to Menasha. Or I went out there. <laughs> of all places. Well, I was just uh, get up out of the city. I did. And Menasha's the hood of the Fox Valley. We're in Kakoma. I can go for the hood. I can go. <laughs> well, first of all, and what he's describing as the hood, he's talking about this is in Appleton standards and the A standards. Dang, and then your parents pay for your place in the hood? Stop. <laughs> nah. Here's $50,000. Don't make it work. <laughs> nah, I wish it was that sweet. Silver spoon treatment. I wish it was that sweet. <laughs> Um, but no, yeah, I, uh, that was my, nah, shit, what else? 
I, just, I remember I was going through cars like crazy. Like I was having bad luck on cars. I had some crap. I had a Ford Expedition, a Fusion. I had a Dodge Trepid, a Mazda C C7. I had a van before. <laughs> I was going through it with whips. <laughs> was car, you crashing or what? Nah. Um, just something happens, and I feel like that's always what's one thing that happens. Is always a, a downfall from there. Oh yeah, that's what happened to my Pontiac. Yeah, and yeah, what else? My whole Manasha career, though, I, well, I had a Ford Expedition, a black Ford truck. Do you remember that? No. Uh, I remember you in a blue car. Yeah, that was my Ford Fusion. I think that was my time. And uh, and then I was riding dirty for the longest. I remember I had I didn't have no license for <laughs> since 16 to 21. <laughs> you know what's crazy? Because uh, if you don't have a license, that's, that's like one of the, what do they say? Ignorance is bliss. Mm-hmm. Because if you don't have a license, you are so paranoid, low key. Like you see oh, a cop God. and you just you get your license back, you be looking at it like, yeah, yeah. you swerve a little bit. Like I dare you. I saw I seen a short that someone said uh, a cop was recording someone blast their music. Now, as he said, this I, uh, this is how people act when they know they got down else. <laughs> like, <laughs> what's that mean? <laughs> but no, yeah, everybody's of course been through a struggle. You know, it's all about the mindset to get out the struggle. All. I'm just not a, not a, I'm always, because the thing is, like, I, I mentioned this so many times, but I like to live a nice life, so I always mm-hmm. have to grind, go super hard, because it's hectic for me to just be, uh, to be down and out, because I like to kick it. Yeah. And I'm really just. Remember how often we used to, we used to go out to eat every day. We used to kick it. <laughs> we used to kick it, kick it. I'm like, I, yeah, I can't show because I need to go to the bar. Oh, uh, yeah. That's it. A- I mean, I really feel like I'm, um, I'm doing it on purpose, just because I wanted to see what a struggle was like. <laughs> And now that I, I'm like, oh, this sucks. This sucks. Oh. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to get back to it. All right. Yeah. Back to it. So, right now, it's in the night. So, uh, so you're going to get right back to it. Yeah. All right, you guys. Well, you heard it here first. I'm just going to get back to it. Nothing but to do it. So, Dave's Hot Chicken, what you think? Um, I give it two thumbs up. I, I think it's good. You'll yeah, go there again? Yeah. Okay. Better than Raising Canes? Yeah, I don't like Raising Canes. Better than Zaxby's? You had Zaxby's before? Uh, I don't think uh, it's, it's just like you're serving chicken fingers. Yeah, uh, no, I don't think no. the concept. I don't know why that's such a big deal. <laughs> chicken fingers. No thanks. No, but they do have some good sauce. I'm a big fan of Dave's uh, sp- uh, sauce. But I hope you guys enjoyed this food, this video. Snoop, where can I find you at? You can find me on all my socials, Ellie Carson, L E C A R S O N. And you know, I say Ellie Carson. I should start saying Le Carson. You think? Le Carson. Le Carson. Make sure you follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok. All is at a chunk chunk. That is Z-A-D-D-Y-C-H-U-N-K, C-H-U-N-K. Just know if you guys are going through it, just keep pushing forward, moving forward. Speak positive things in the air because you're going to make it. And one thing you learn, I learned in life is this struggle ain't going to last forever, though. You, know? you ever be thinking like you're struggling like, man, this is hectic. I don't see no way out. And then, no, I just I'm like, I'm going to laugh at this in the future. You know? I'm going to yeah. laugh at how broke I was. Yeah. <laughs> Alright you guys As we all know The grind never stops Until the ZCC gang is on top Let's get it